Hello, my name's Malin, and today I'm going to talk about how I beat insomnia. But first I'm just going to give you a bit of a debrief. So this channel is about me sharing what I've learned, kind of things that I've done, and it's also about me documenting my progress in activities that I enjoy. So how I beat insomnia. Growing up, I would take ages to go to sleep. It would, I thought it was kind of normal, you know, just to be lying in bed, always tossing and turning, thinking a lot, overthinking and then feeling tired but never actually being able to fall asleep and eventually got to this point you know where you have school and you have to wake up early and then you have work and you have to wake up early for that and I kind of realized you know I'm feeling really tired I'm feeling really down I've got to kind of try and find a way to kind of mitigate this so I'm going to give you four tips to how I beat my insomnia the first one is screen time the second one is journal the third one is read and the fourth one is just to relax and unwind. And these are four things that have helped me to get better sleep. So the first one, screen time. Of course, this is kind of a, a common topic around here, but around now nowadays, but we shouldn't be viewing screens a couple hours before bed. We should at least have like an hour where there's no screens and this is because it emits a lot of blue light and blue light kind of keeps our brain awake. It kind of messes up with our circadian rhythm. If you want to kind of look into that a bit more, search up like circadian rhythm, sun, and look at Andrew Huberman for more sources on that. I'm not an expert, it's just kind of something that's helped me with it. And you can also get these, I'll actually show you, you can get these blue lo blocking light glasses and they block blue light and you could wear them at night if you are going to watch if you are going to use your screens or if you have to for work or you want to whatever or you're going out and it's kind of dark and there's going to be lots of light you can wear this you'll look pretty cool if you ask me but you might stand out in the crowd but um anyway that's the first tip kind of limit your screens have less blue light kind of affecting your circadian rhythm and the second one is journaling and this I found quite beneficial because you're just dumping out your thoughts, you're getting all of your things out that you need to, kind of writing a list of what you want to do the next day if you want to, I find that beneficial. Um, just getting out your thoughts and ideas, you know, if you have things kind of ruminating in your head, just kind of get them all out on paper so that you're less likely to kind of be thinking about them and worrying about them while you're trying to go to bed. And I found that really beneficial. And then the third tip, I do a journal and then after that I go read and I just read um, a fiction book that I kind of like, you know. Um, and this is kind of nice because it's just kind of like winding down, you know, it's kind of like an easy to read. I've always loved reading, so for me it's enjoyable. Maybe you could find something else that's kind of quiet and easy, that's not too stimulating, which is another tip I'd give um, if you're trying to beat insomnia, fall asleep better, have better sleep. And then after that, I just generally have just this wind down kind of, you know, this is all like winding down, you know, slowly getting myself ready for bed. And so the fourth tip, relax, is I have a cup of tea, so you can get kind of bedtime kind of teas, you know, once I have chamomile or poppy or other things like that. Um, or you can do, I got this from Tim Ferriss, you can use apple cider vinegar and honey, and I mix that also with my tea. And then you can just kind of sit and just drink your tea and just kind of relax. That's what I do. I just, I find it enjoyable. You know, sometimes I go out and watch the sunset if the time's kind of aligning with how I want to go to bed. And it's nice just to sit there and not have to do anything and just kind of let your thoughts kind of and your mind kind of settle down before you unwind for bed. And then... I'll give you a bonus tip for getting this far into the video. The, the bonus tip is doing something that will, throughout the day, that will make you feel tired. Whether that's physical work like a sport, a workout, um, or just doing some sort of concentration work, you know, like reading for like hours at a time. Um, for me, I also do music, so doing that for a couple hours at a time, you know that that's fun and it's enjoyable for me and the time flies by but it also kind of you know afterwards you're like oh like that actually took up quite a bit of energy and then at the end of the day I feel quite tired 
Um, so that's another bonus tip that I had, which has also helped me, you know, because if you, if you have lots of energy when you go to bed and you haven't used it up, then it's going to be a lot harder to go to sleep. So there you have it. There's my tips for insomnia. If you want to check out some of my other videos, please do comment any ideas and other tips that you've got. And <laughs> it feels so cringe to say this, you know, like and subscribe. Ooh, like me and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. But I really would appreciate it, you know, and I haven't been saying this and I should be saying, you know, like and subscribe because that's how this YouTube channel can grow. That's how I can get more feedback from other people. That's how... Yeah, how generally this can just grow and become better. So thank you for watching if you did. I'll see you in the next video.